Well, COVID-19 is not stopping for Christmas or the doctors, nurses, first responders across the triangle who are working around the clock to keep all of us safe. Lillian Donahue talked with one traveling nurse who's battling the pandemic away from home tonight. For many doctors, nurses, and other healthcare staff, this is not just another Christmas away from loved ones, but a second year battling the COVID-19 pandemic and another winter wave of cases. Hey, there are still people out here who care, even if it is a holiday. Latasha Hines has been a nurse for seven years. Now she's working as a travel COVID ICU nurse with UNC Health. We wake up and we think about how, what can we do to save a life today? But nothing could prepare her for the last two years in a pandemic. And believe me, COVID is real. Um, we have treated many thousands of people. With all hands on deck for months on end, she hit pause on her dream of becoming a nurse practitioner. I have two clinical rotations left in one class. This is her second Christmas working in the ICU. It might not look like the traditional day of waking up to the smell of fresh cookies. But for some patients, she knows she's the only comfort they have. And it's not fighting for a stranger's life. It's fighting for your patient's life. It's like having your baby in that bed. Right now, she's working alongside other nurses and doctors who aren't giving up, battling the latest group of COVID-19 cases. You walk into work and you are so used to giving your all and you feel like you've left it. But with this new COVID, all these different strands, it's kind of like, did we really give our all? Have we really given everything? Although she'll make it home to see her family before the new year, Hines says her heart never truly clocks off. So you definitely give every bit of your heart and you leave it there with that patient. And as for her goal of becoming a nurse practitioner, she's on track to make sure that dream is a reality by this time next year. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News.